So this is the mix and chop. Um, I'm not quite sure how I got by uh, for as long as I have without one. I use this for a number of things. Uh, use it for salsa, you can use it for tomato sauce, uh, but invariably what I use it for continually is guacamole. So I have prepped the guac here. I have minced up some sweet uh, cherry peppers. Those are canned, uh, really a, a nice flavor to the, to the guacamole. You don't expect that little burst of sweetness, but it's tasty. I've got a minced hatch pepper, and I've got some uh, minced garlic as well. And I did use, by the way, uh, the Pepper Jeff garlic press for that. I just did it before we started recording. So I'm gonna go ahead, I've got the uh, avocados halved. I'm gonna scoop out the meat, just dump those right into the bowl there. Just bought these this morning, nice and fresh. Always check and make sure. Always think about when you're gonna need your avocados when you buy them. Because if you buy them too soft on, on the day that you're gonna need them that Wednesday, they may not make it that far. And if they're hockey pucks and you need them that afternoon, you're gonna be very disappointed when you come to chop it up. So, okay. Avocados are halved. I'm gonna go ahead and add a couple of last minute ingredients. This is, of course, a little bit of lime juice. You can use lemon juice. Mm -hmm. uh, add some nice little seasoning, plus it will keep it from browning too, too quickly. Okay, and this is my secret ingredient. Green sriracha, okay? You can put regular sriracha in this, but it'll kind of brown the guacamole a bit. This way, you have the nice, uh, the spice and the sweetness of sriracha, and it doesn't really hurt the flavor all that much. And of course, and some salt, some grinds of fresh ground pepper. Okay, so here's the thing. You bring this into play, and this will do quite a number on the avocados. This will be mixed in no time, so. Don't even need to work that hard. And what's nice about this is it doesn't turn it into a paste. I like my guacamole to be a little bit chunky. So essentially, this is not squashing the guacamole the way that a, a potato masher might. It's actually chopping it up into pieces. And it's also stirring it as we go. And that looks just about perfect. And again, if you want it pureed, you can go ahead and mix it a little more. So here's what we have here. Some nice little chunks left. Always do a sample first before you serve it to your guests. You don't want to serve them, uh, have them be your, your test run the first time you've had it. Nice to remember, why the hatch chili's got some kick. Be aware of that. So um, I'm going to use this for refried beans in a little bit here as well. But this is tremendously useful. The hatch chili. That's too much. I've gotten more seeds out of it, but that's fine. Um, so uh, pick one of these up. I really, of all the things we've gotten from Pampered Chef, I think this is the thing that I keep coming back to uh, just, just all the time. It is terrific. Just can't do without it. So thanks for coming by. Go buy one. Mix and shop. Bye.